Hello everyone, so in this video I'm going to be showing you this Ingenico pin entry device and some of the anti-tamper mechanisms which have been implemented into it. Um, this model in particular was quite popular in the UK up until maybe uh, three or four years ago when they started introducing the contactless um, cards. But you still do find these devices in quite a lot of shops. Um, okay, so on the back there are uh, five screws, one, two, three, four, and five, and they are all torque screws, T6 screws like this, they're not the security screw. Um, this middle one here undoes this panel, and this is used for putting in SIM card readers, so you can use these terminals to make payments over the phone network rather than through, over the internet, like you would do this cable here but um, this model in particular doesn't have the um, capability of doing that, as you can see it's empty. Okay, so um, you've got these four other screws here and when you undo these screws you can then remove the back panel like so. Okay, so um, what you can see straight away is this big battery here and this is used to power the uh, volatile memory. So if this is disconnected the memory will be wiped on the device. And what you can see here, if I zoom in with the camera, is there is a switch just there. And you can see it's got a little depression on the top there, so it's held down. And what you have on this back panel here, which I pulled off of it, is this sort of metal plate here. So when this panel is on the back, this plate pushes down on, on that switch just there and keeps it depressed. So as soon as this panel is removed, the switch comes up and the, the memory on this thing is wiped. So this, that's one of the anti-tamper mechanisms which I've put in place. And you find I've also got, if I can remove it, like a, a metal plate that it won't come up. There's a metal plate here as well which um, I suppose it's used to prevent people drilling in through this back piece here and pushing down on the button. Okay, so that's, 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 that's the first sort of layer of security they've got on this. The second is if I take this, there's some more screws there you'd have to remove one, two, uh, I think, yeah, maybe just the two, or two there. Once you remove those two, it allows you to remove this panel here. So you get to the other side of the circuit board. The second thing you'll notice is you have, this is the front of the panel here, you have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 12, 16 buttons on the front here. And if you pair those to these pairs here, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16. We also have these bigger ones extra here. One, two, three, and four. And these are contacts for that one, that one, that one, and that one. And you'll see they're not linked to any of the buttons on the front. And this is this is the second anti-tamper mechanism, which is similar to the one on the back panel, which prevents you from moving, removing the front face. If these contacts lose contact with these four here. That will also wipe the volatile memory on the device. Okay, so the third anti-tamper mechanism is these traces which are running across the whole of the circuit board in a sort of zigzag formation. And it might be quite hard to pick up on the camera, but if I zoom in and try and get to focus correctly with the light, you might just see them. If not, I'll put a picture in the in on the video so you can see them more clearly. But particularly on the edges around here, you can see just a massive zigzag of trace, and this is to prevent um, drilling through any part of this board to to connect a reader to one of these to one of the um, points here. Um, if it detects any hole that's been put through, it will then as these contacts here do and the switch on the back does, it will, it will wipe the volatile memory on the device. These sort of um, anti-tamper mechanisms are quite important because the uh, communication between the card and the reader 
is unencrypted. So without them in place, it would allow people to connect readers to these traces inside the device and read the communication between the card and the device. What you find as well on other models similar to this is it will have a mesh, maybe about one centimetre high, that runs around this area here, over the top edge of this um, button. And that mesh is covered in trace that zigzags very much like this, uh, the mesh on the circuit board on this, which is used to prevent people drilling through as well. Thank you for watching. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know in the uh, comments below and I will do my best to answer them for you. Goodbye.